This is when we whisper, right? Wow. Look at that caribou. I wonder if I could do a caribou call. I wonder what that would do. So, yeah. They just, uh... Let's see. I think they grunt or shriek. Uh, let's try... I don't think caribou moo. So let's actually try grunting at it. Uh. Oh, that worked? Is it coming at us? Uh, did I just do a mating call? Does he think I'm a girl caribou? Or does she think I'm a <laughs> boy caribou? They can all grow antlers. You know, we don't need to ponder the concept of a caribou identity right now. We need to... Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and get some dinner for the pups. Forgive me, caribou. I didn't expect a call to work this well. Oh, first yes. shot, Nobody's too. starving tonight. Let's go. All right, well, welcome back to the Alaskan hey, wilderness. Another meal, ready to two bullets left. Let's be safe out there. Where we are here with our team, our dog sled team in Red Lantern, exploring and trying to figure out if we've got what it takes to- All right, to... let's keep going. Let's see, let's go. G. G. Exploring and seeing if we have what it takes to let's survive out here in the wilderness. And now that we've got dog booties, I'm actually feeling really, really positive about all this. There's oh, another thing with antlers out there. Well, that's gotta be an elk, right? Can't be that big and that far away without being a sizable creature. What do you think? Let's check it out. I knew it! It's an elk! Oh, it's so far away, though. I'm not sure if our gun is accurate enough for this shot. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and leave it be, then. Now is not the time. Wow! We just saw an elk! Okay, I'm back. All right, Let's come go, on, Chopper. guys. Look at the pups. They are ready to go. We're going to go ahead and set up camp so that we can feed everybody. Let's take a break. This is a good spot to rest. But welcome back. So we've done great on this adventure. We actually have a lot of bullets. It's been really good to get a whole bunch of meat. And the dogs have little booties now. Look at those little booties. Those booties are actually able to help keep them warm since so much of the heat that they have escapes through their paw pads on the snow. And it means that when we feed them, they get two energy boost per food instead of just one, which has made our lives so much easier. But all right, let's see. Let's give Bodega some pets. I'm happy to try to find all the food you need. He's a good boy, even if he does like overeating. And Chomper, how you doing Chomps? Scratches, scratches, scratches. Good puppy. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and go to sleep. I'll set up the trap, and in the morning, we'll fill our stomachs and continue exploring the Alaskan wilderness. Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? I'm really, really grateful that none of the dogs have died yet. That's actually something that can happen. And pups, if all of you stay healthy and well until next week, we'll actually get a chance to possibly create Chomper and Iggy and maybe some of the others in Sims 4 for snowy escapes and see if we can get them to have puppies. We'll probably only catch small game though, but not here anything helps. Should I set the trap? All right, let's go ahead and set I'll it. I'll just hide it over here. I'm glad I finally got that beaver We'll back. check on it when we wake up. All right, snooze time. Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? I bet all of the puppies come snuggle with us, except for maybe Finn. She's kind of shy. And except for probably Iggy. I have a feeling she just likes to sleep in the snow. All right, everyone feeling better? All right, good Let's morning. Let's see what we've caught. Looks like we have a bunny. A nice arctic hare to start breakfast. And we're doing so much better with food now. That would be nice. At least I'm well practiced in fire starting. Excellent. There we go. And then let's go ahead. We'll get some I'm food ready for me to cook first. Some food. Sorry, pups. There. We should be able to do plenty of exploring food with time. full stomachs like this. Chow down, pups. And look at that! Oh, it's so much easier to feed them now. Fantastic! All right, everybody ready? Let's get back on the trail. Back on the trail? Let's get back out there. 
This time we found Moose. We have done a mating call for a caribou, which was unexpected. And we have found owls, skunks. Finn did run into multiple skunks too. Oh, I should have given her my beanie. I totally forgot about that. And now we're really on the hunt for the great fishing pole. Oh, a little bear cub. Okay. Oh, where are you off to? Okay, this isn't going to end well, but we're going to go ahead and follow the bear cub because even if mom's right here and that's going to turn things dangerous. I'm not sure this was the best idea. Are you all alone? I probably shouldn't risk it. Let's watch and see what happens. Um, okay, let's watch and see what happens, but we need to get out of here if mom shows up, like, fast. And she's probably right behind us. You never, ever, ever want to get between a bear and her cubs. There's a reason that there is a saying, the, you know, mama bear sort of saying for a mother who is extremely protective of her babies. But, I mean, the whole point of being out here now that we have found the cabin is to try new things. And even if they end badly, we just pretend we end up back at the cabin. So I did not realize cubs were going to be this cute. <laughs> I probably should have packed a camera. I don't need to capture these moments. I'm living them. Hey, look, using a camera's fine. Wait, oh, is geez. that the mother? Careful. Careful. Uh, just one more second. <gasps> She just has Kamo kiss the cub. Oh my god. Oh. I bet that's how it looks when I boop chomper. I'm dead. Though I probably will be if I stay any longer. That was so cute. Oh, I'm so glad we took that risk. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. Good job, right. guys. Let's mush on. All right. I mean, it's nice to see a sweeter side of the bears instead of, you know, being chomped and chewed and eaten by them. Well, we haven't been eaten. Right. We've just been Let's attacked. Keep going. All right, let's go. G, G. We've pretty much gone entirely G this time. Oh, look at that. Sunrise and sunset in the Alaskan wilderness was really amazing. Hey, oh, a hey, bunny. a bunny. Oh, wow, there's a lot of them. Uh, hello. So, like, uh, your family or? You can actually get Arctic hairs. Oh! Is that an answer to my question or some kind of cuteness defense mechanism? Jeez. All right. They're way too cute. You know what? I don't think we should go ahead and shoot these ones. It also seems like a waste of bullets when we have mostly full stomachs and we could find something that would provide a lot more meat. But I love seeing them. One of my favorite things that I ever learned was that you'll actually have hundreds of Arctic hares wandering in huge groups together. There's pictures of them from the sky, taken from the sky, where you can look down across the open tundra and you can just see hundreds of little dots of white when the arctic hares are out eating at some of the grass when it's sprouting. And that's just amazing to me. I'm used to seeing the cottontails that live around North Carolina where I live all by themselves, like one bunny at a time. Sometimes one bunny with a couple babies. But to see hundreds of them, it's an amazing sight. You guys definitely need to look it up. And we're totally not going to shoot these guys right now. I really need to develop more of a killer instinct. If I die out here because I couldn't manage to eat some cute bunnies, well, that'll just be who I am. Or was. I've wasted enough time here. It is not a waste to look at cute bunnies. Thanks for waiting, pups. Let's go, Chomper. I feel like we should have gotten a journal entry for how cute the, the bunnies were. And our goals are to find as many of the journal entries as possible. I mean, personally, I joy journal pretty much every single day. At least I've gotten back into it now. It's been a rough few months. But lately, even with the challenges, I'm really starting to see the joy in life again. Looks like there's something out there. Oh, whoa, what's that? Okay, what do we have here? <gasps> Another med kit! I definitely needed some more bandages. Wow! Okay, I've never had two med kits before. Let's get back out there. We already used one on Iggy. She is such a good girl. I can't believe how much we've discovered. I feel like we're actually going to make it all the way back to the cabin this time. We're making progress. G! We're just going to carry entirely with G. And this time if we run into the bear, I will... Oh, we're going to run into the bear. It's time to run into the bear. Okay. Hey bear. Just... Whoa, pup. All right, hang in there, guys. 
We're used to this encounter by now. This bear must have a territory near our cabin. I'm sure that's why we keep running into it. I just need to be... All right. I just need to make sure I shoot it right this time. Which means we need to wait until exactly the right moment. Because no matter what we do, I think this bear is possibly, we'll say, like a very territorial mill grizzly who's had a very bad day. Almost, almost. That was close. I wonder how long predator and prey, or even just two animals with the ability and the will to attack each other, would have a standoff. Almost, almost, almost. Run, pups! Okay, I guess shooting it does not work. Oh. Pups, just leave it alone. I'll be right there. Don't make it angry. Oh, is it because we had food? I wonder if we have no food if the bear would leave us alone. Oh, need us. Let's get out of here before it realizes we're also made of meat. Okay, that wasn't as bad as it could have been. Hey, pups, do okay? Ready to go? At least they didn't get hurt. I'm not the only one hurt. And I guess it makes a ton of sense that the bear would attack us if we have an entire caravan of meat and we smell like meat. Margo was never the best racer, but she did it because it's what she loved. And it was who she was. She never came in first. More often than not, she came in last. And she knew she was never gonna win. Nor was she gonna keep her pinky finger. But she kept going. And her dogs kept going because they wanted to. And she didn't know what was gonna come next. But she knew if she was supposed to make it, she would. So she just had to let the pups put one paw in front of the other and trust them to get her to the end. All right, I think we've made it almost all the way back to the cabin again. That's extremely exciting. And look at how much better off we are now. Oh, food! You pups see that? I think it might be time to get us some food. Let's go ahead and follow it. <gasps> look at this! Every run is so different. We saw a herd of caribou. What Good do you think, boy. Chomper? Can you believe this? It's a herd of caribou. A week ago, we had to be impressed by a flock of pigeons. And now look. What do you say, buddy? Time to get back on the trail. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, that was amazing. I'm back. Let's be safe out there. We've done really good this time, guys. We've discovered so many new things. Bear Eskimo kisses, a herd of caribou, a mating call for a caribou too. We saw a moose. All right, let's keep going. Gee! And I think we're actually about to make it right back to our cabin, which is just so cool. And our booties! I'm really proud of all the booties. Oh, what's that? <gasps> is that a wolverine? Feel free to stay over there. We don't mind. This is the first time I've seen no a need wolverine. To. How many closer? What is? Look Get at this guy! Don't you see how many of us there are? These guys are really sassy. We're scary. You should be scared. Am I gonna get taken out by a wolverine? Why did I try to negotiate with a predator? Squirrels only. Maybe a bunny. Only things with less teeth. Okay. Okay. Fine. It's okay, Bodega. We can find more food. Bodega is the one who takes on the wolverines. <laughs> Oh look, he's 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 scaring it off. That's amazing. So I don't like people messing with your food, do you, boy? I don't want you risking your life for our food, Bodega. Food doesn't matter if you're not around to eat it. We well, finally this will make it much easier to get home. Thank you. I even have a treat to spare for him. There you go, buddy. If there's a meal to be had, you can conquer everything. Your destiny is driven by your stomach. Okay, that was adorable. I love that we could give Bodega a treat. On the sled, but... All right. And we saw a Wolverine! We have gained a lot from this run. And I guess that's just a great metaphor for life, right? The more that you get out there and at least try to do things, the more you're going to accomplish. I waste far too long trying to be prepared. Uh, maybe I'm definitely learning something. Oh, <laughs> I think we can pass this guy up now. <sighs> Hello? Do you mind moving? Uh, please? 
Uh, I guess we could hunt it. This guy, I mean, the pups are all... Uh, wait, what? Uh, how'd you get up there? I don't trust you. Uh, I probably should have tried to shoot at Thanks it. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. Was it, was Let's it like... Chopper. Was I hallucinating? Okay. Just as I thought we were, you know, kind of accomplishing so much that we didn't need Let's to worry about what else we could find. That definitely was this unexpected. Is a good spot to rest. All right, and Bodega. You're a good pup, Bodega. You've been a great help. Yeah, okay. I'll get back to sorting dinner. Okay, but just a few more pets. Yeah, uh, okay. There you go, buddy. And we learned more about Bodega that he will definitely protect the food we have. That would be nice. Oh, I can't wait. Which is just freaking adorable. But all right, guys, I think we've almost made it back to our cabin after a big adventure. And just like all of the other runs, this one was so different and so unique, and I love it. I think it's really important to find a place in life where every time you show up to do something, it feels a little bit different than the time before. It gives you a new opportunity and a chance to grow. So, if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.